get money, don't make none, no, 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 no. Go get your money, go get your money, yeah. Scared money, don't make none, no, 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 no. Go get your money, go get your money. Welcome back to You're Not Gonna Like This. This is episode 18, Coloring. Um, I chose this topic because this is a very popular topic amongst most social media outlets because everybody wants to be included and one and the same. So we're just talking about just to bring awareness to the subject. And let's just go ahead and get right into it. So first things first, we got a guest here today. I got my, my friends, Nick Corbin. Uh, you know, Nick is my freshman year in college. Uh, Nick, you want to go ahead and introduce yourself, man? What's so, up, Nick? Uh, finance major. On the track and field team. Let's do speaks. Uh, follow my on Instagram. Easy mode. Yeah, so. Repeat that last part again. Follow my Easy mode. Easy. Oh, follow, uh, follow, oh, follow me. Okay. Yeah. Right, well, that being said, let's go ahead and go ahead and come back to the topic. So, first question is for Nick. So, Nick, you you have you have what would you say a dark skin girlfriend? If I'm not mistaken, hopefully. You have a dark skin girlfriend. So, um, when it came to that, like, do you did it did it did it like cross your mind at all? Like, uh, how things would be with that, or like things of that nature? Or, you know, we ain't gonna have in a darker skin girlfriend. That's what I'm gonna get at. I mean, uh, have a dark skin girlfriend. Cool. I mean, I ain't even. I won't even question about it being dark skin or light skin. Nothing like for like I don't got no preference, but obviously I love my dark skin, you feel me? I'm a dark skin. I'm like a darkish skin, brown skin. But like ain't no hate nowhere. Dark skin, light skin, it don't matter. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. I definitely, I definitely, I definitely, I definitely feel you there. Definitely, yeah. I don't have much of a preference myself, so. But just had to, just had to ask to see if there was like any thoughts that came across you or anything like that. So let's go ahead and get to like the first actual topic. So first actual thing is attraction versus degradation. So a lot of times, you know, you have people that are attracted to you know certain people of certain skin colors, and then sometimes. Sometimes that can also be confused with degradation. At the same time, because you know, being attra- some people, even though they're being attracted to one, other people can see it has the meaning to themselves. And I just want to highlight that really quick. So, PJ, I want you to go ahead and just explain to everybody like, what is the fine line between these two these two terms? And, like, how can we not get these terms misconstrued? Uh, you mean like, you mean like degradation as like turning away somebody? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, that's 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 the best way you can put it. Degradation, you know, like in the in a demeaning manner, you know, like. Um. I mean, I guess when you like compare and contrast the two, like you got to make sure that you like keep everything respectful. Like you can be attracted to one. You know, you you have a preference or something, you'd be attracted to somebody or something and like without putting down the other thing, you know what I mean? Like if you like light skinned women, there's no reason you should put on you should put down dark skinned women in the process of you being attracted to light skinned women, you know what I'm saying? So I think like in that sense, you really just gotta make sure that you're you're creating that that fine line between the two and keeping everything respectful in that sense. Yeah, I guess that's how I look at it. What about you, Nick? I agree. There's no need to throw hate around at one just because you you date the other. Like 
there's no that's unnecessary. You this like you could have a neutrality. There's no need to cause harm over there if you have a preference. Like yeah, you can like light skins, yeah, you can like one or dark skins. There's no need to hate on the other. Like put yeah, them exactly. down, like calling names that's uncalled for. Mind your business like you expect them to mind theirs. That's as simple as it is. And then that's really just stupid because you I'm Goofy, hey, like just because I'm white, you know, I feel like that's vice versa. Some people need to think. Have your purpose and buy your two cents. Hey, you breaking up a little bit. You are repeating like what you said after Goofy. My bad, say that again. I said, you might repeat what you said at the Goofy because you're breaking up just a little bit. I said, I said that there's no reason to hate on the hate on another group because you have a preference. You know what I mean? There's no reason for light skins or dark skins to battle just because they. For oh, what, bro? For <laughs> oh, what? There's, like, there's so much colorism when it's like fight the same battle. And it's, it's sad, honestly. Point. It's sad, it honestly. Is. It's like you got people at the same, you know, we're, like even when it comes to black people, we're all, you know, we're, we're all the same, you know what I'm saying? Doesn't matter what skin tone you are, how light your skin is, how dark your skin is. Like you could really have a preference without putting down other people. And I feel like a lot of people don't don't really get that and it might be unintentional or you know um or it might be intentional but a lot of people you know get that get that confused when it comes to what you said with attraction and degradation like a lot of people can't really have a preference without putting down the other thing you know what i'm saying so that that's kind of sad to see especially within the black community yeah well, yeah that's that's definitely facts yeah we should all be able to like you know be attracted to another to, to like another skin color without having to put down others. Uh, like like Nick said, you know, if you, you like me, you like me. If that's the way it is, you know, you shouldn't feel the need to like disrespect others because you like what you like. But do you also yeah. feel as if this is thing this thing has been created based on like celebrities using this have like kind of like a, a marketing tool, for instance, like let's go back to two thousand and I believe it was sixteen with the whole with the whole Drake and on uh, Meek Mill thing, do you feel like that was like the beginning of where we are now for like, well, for our generation anyway, it probably stems even further back than that based on what, I've, what I saw, but for the current times now, do you feel like that's one of the main reasons this light skin, this dark skin is kind of like became what it is? Yeah, I mean, I think, I think celebrity definitely got a big impact on it, especially like within the music industry and whatnot. Like even guy, you know, you know how like how people be talking about like they would they need a red bone with the good hair and da 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 you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the good what is the yeah. good hair? You know what I mean? Like why why does why exactly. would the other thing bad? You know what I'm saying? Like is it bad? Nah, it's, it's hair. You know what I mean? Like you see like guys like like Chris Brown, you know, they always got the light skinned exotic women in his videos. And then people, you know, take offense to that because they feel like he's he ain't really showing love to, you know, the, the, the dark skinned women out here, you know what I mean? So it's like, I definitely think music has a huge influence on the whole aspect of colorism as a whole, especially within the black community, of course. So I think, you know, I think that, you know, artists really aren't careful with a lot of that stuff. And it might not even be intentional, but like, you can tell that it's there because they're always talking about how they need red balls and good hair and things of that nature. So. Yeah, I definitely think music, the music industry and celebrities definitely got a big, a big impact on that whole idea of colorism. You got anything you want to add on that, Nick? Uh, I definitely, I definitely feel like for our generation, for me, it was really when Drake, it was really Take Care. When Drake dropped Take Care, it was really that light skin wave that people was just like, different thoughts at mind. There was a joke about it, you know what I mean? Not joke, but you know, like it was like really like it was like light skins is different, but in a good way because it was Drake and Drake still popping. And then it was like just this negative notation of a dark skin because you had like Lil Wayne, 
Yeah, he was spinning bars, but he's like little way, you know. Yeah, that's facts too. It was a uh, switching like that's just like small things that impact the whole culture. You feel? And I feel you like he heard, he said he said Chris Brown. Chris Brown, man. <laughs> like that's just artists don't do it intentional, but then it's like they be rapping about it. And it's they just be rapping about what they know. The low key. And then they just that's that's what they do. And then it just goes that way. Now if more people rapped about like I guess every woman. I guess that'd be a little better. I don't know who you. I don't know. I don't really hear rappers talk about dark skin like that. I feel y'all. But, you know. I don't know. That's culture. They gotta watch what they do. They gotta watch what they say. But when it's on a record, they just let it spit, and then that runs the people full head twenty four seven. That's how they get you. That's how. That's how the mind go. You feel me? Yeah, I feel like a lot of people start to live too much by the lyrics and not understanding that the lyrics are just, you know, words on the paper and not and the words to live by, like a poem or a story for that matter. I feel like, you know, a lot of us, like, when we hear certain lyrics by certain people, we start taking it way to the left and the meetings don't have nothing to do with what they actually are trying to say. So that's a huge, that's probably a huge impact of why the music has a huge, has a huge, like, yeah. I say impact again it, on on colorism. What you about to say? It, 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 even even going back to like what he said about you know Drake and the whole light skin movement thing. You know what I'm saying? Like like even people like attack like people even attach like qualities to like light skin people because of their skin tone. Like they think that light skin people are like softer than dark skin just just off their skin tone. You know what I mean? It's things like that. Even with even with that even with that comes like the music. I feel like. Like music and, and culture dealer that are like very influential when it comes to the idea of colorism as a whole. Like that that that's that's crazy to think about how how Drake can release a, a, a album and all of a sudden light skins are labeled as soft. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's like I guess in a positive light, but sometimes it could be negative. Like you know, people can people can look at you because of the skin of your skin of your color. Very and, negative. And, yeah. I mean, the color of your skin and apply apply traits to like to that skin color, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy to me. Yeah, bro. Well, that's because, like, no, that negative side, bro, I'm telling you, that, I don't know what's up with the statement with dark skin. I'm not no dark skin. People really be acting like they just a whole animal. Like, those people, they just got a different, like, more melanin. It's not even that deep. I don't yeah, know what's facts. up with the fear of the dark skin, yo. Like, like, they look at them like they some type of rot wall or something, bro. It's weird. Yeah, it's exactly. so, it's really just out of pocket. Yeah, definitely. It, they do, they do get out of pocket sometimes. Like I be seeing, like I remember one time on Twitter, I saw somebody like just be OD disrespectful to Ari Lennox one time. I saw that, that joint was crazy. I was like, wow, that's wow. And, oh no, I ain't see that. No, nah, it was like I think somebody said they they called it like a dog or something. It was. Well, they really call cool. all the black women dog. That should be wrong. Yeah, they, they that, that joint. That was probably the most disrespectful thing I've ever seen somebody say to a celebrity like. Well, a regular person to a celebrity, not celeb, celeb, but a regular person, celebrity. That was that was pretty. That was pretty good. Deal. But like, yeah. like I said, like I said earlier, our generation, you know, common thing was the Drake with Mill, but it's also been trending in previous generations as well. So like, basically, if we take it back to the early two thousands, back when my wife and kids was popping, was, Dam- was it Damon Wayans? Yeah, it was Damon Wayans. Back when it was out there in the hell. You know, after season one of that series, they went from a darker skin declared to a lighter skin declared. And a lot of people thought that it was because they preferred a lighter actor, um, which is, which could which could be true. I don't know the validity of that, how, how, how true that is. But I did find something about that actor. Her name is Ray Cole or Racy Cole. I can't hope I pronounced that correctly. The actor on on the show and she came out with a statement and she said that actually it wasn't like colorism that had a lot of things to like do with it it was actually like her mother called her out of the show for the sole fact that being that she was like 12 or 13 years old at the time um the the role they were asking her to play was too 
it was too big or like too over to play, you know, having a, having a pregnant friend and like, you know, other things that most older teenagers face in life. So like that was one of the main reasons that that happened. But do y'all feel that maybe like colorism affected the selections of the of the lighter skin declare? I can't think of her name. Yeah, colors definitely affects actors. I would say so. I think so. I don't know about that situation though, because I yeah, feel like I feel like in that situation, if if the color, if her skin tone was a problem, they wouldn't have cast her in the first place. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the same thing with um that whole Aunt Viv situation on Fresh Prince, where they had a dark had a darker skin woman playing Aunt Viv in the first couple seasons, and then they went. To a, a light skinned woman at the you know at the show at the end of the show's run or whatever, I feel like when it come to that you know if if it really was a skin to, a skin tone issue thing they really would have wouldn't have cast the darker skinned person anyway. I mean, but I definitely think that colorism you know plays a part in, in showbiz. Uh, I just don't know if that situation was kind of like an example. Well, well, actually, well, actually, PJ, um, when I, I watched um the you know the Fresh Prince reunion came out. And uh, Aunt Viv, I can't remember her, her real name, but the, the darkest skin Aunt Viv came out with a statement. When she was talking to Will, she was like, you know, because Will Smith at that time called her difficult, and she was like calling a darker skinned woman difficult back in the 90s. It's like the, it's like the black kiss of death in Hollywood. So, like, yeah, 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 facts, facts, facts. I do, I do feel, I do feel like colorism definitely impacts that decision because. I feel like the lighter skin Max, the lighter skin Aunt Viv would have not would have not been selected if Will Smith had not called her difficult being the stigma at that at at that time. But um, honestly, to them, it was really just a show. Of, like it was just a black man on TV. Right. Okay. So I don't. Oh, I said it was really just a black. TV, like family on TV, the directors and stuff, they probably was just casting over, they thought seemed fit, you know, they probably won't think it more faster on colorism, maybe. Okay, well, do y'all have, like, do y'all have, like, any, like, prime examples besides the ones we've already mentioned in this episode, or y'all got some other things that, you know, that severely impact, like, it's severely impacted by color that you wish to see change besides, you know, the selection of actors or, you know, choosing your significant other? I mean, I really don't have any, like, just, like, discreet examples. I mean, I just know that there's colorism everywhere, you know what I'm saying? And, like, a lot of that has to change the, the perception of a person based off of their skin tone. Not even, not even just the color of their skin, their skin tone. You know what I'm saying? Like, colorism yeah. exists within the same race. Like, we talk about racism with like white people, black people, but like colorism exists within the same race, which is crazy to me. Like, you could really look at somebody who, in essence, is really just the same as you, just a lighter skin tone. You'll think that they're different from you. You'll think that you know light skins are soft or dark skins are, are are like ghetto or things of that nature. Like dark skins difficult. You know what I'm saying? Like, just that whole idea as a whole is just crazy to even think about, and it's kind of sad, honestly. So yeah, it's 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 like it's dividing it's dividing us within our own race when and especially at a time where you know we need to come together as a race. I think that that's a way that our race is you know divided. There's so much division and like aside from the world, like black people. It's it's I mean, like, like, how much, where, where, why is there no love, you know what I mean? Where is the love? Why isn't it just, like, instinctively there? Why is there so much hate? Yeah, facts. And I know, like, I'm not, like, I know, like, it'd be, like, I don't know much about Africa. They'd be, like, African tribes be fighting. I don't understand. That's all political. It's always all political political but where is it when do we get past political where does society go like what is it actually like the greater good for you definitely 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 the gatherness of how we all like avert to these crises that we are facing um, 
things such as police brutality and all the way up to current day issues with uh, the politician and all the things of that nature together this is how you know you know we're gonna fight a lot of things that are on the horizon especially with the change in the presidency you know a lot of things changing in, in this upcoming year so hopefully uh, the stigma for against dark skin women definitely changes and it gets better than what it is now but um last thing let's move to the last point we got is um why is privacy the negative and with this point you know we kind of hit on it with the attraction versus degradation. It's kind of like a sub sub point of this as well, if you want to view as that. But like, what this is like, you know, some people have their preference. Like, you know, you can have a preference for lighter skinned women, but even though you don't, you don't see, it, you don't, you don't disrespect it by any means. It could be seen as a, it could still, you know, it could still be seen as a negative, and. I just want to, I just want I just want either Nick or Peace to elaborate on that, on that point. I could stigma from, like, they may not be to be offensive, but where they grew up, they may not, a lot of people, they may have not liked that color. Like, it's colorism, you feel me? Like, say, like, you feel me? The people be like, someone's like, oh, I don't like dark skins. All right, what if she grew up and, like, she, no boy ever really liked her. She went to like all white school or some shit. And no one liked her. Or like, you feel me? She ain't. That's gonna carry with a. That's gonna carry with a person. Like, you know what I mean? If you always going through life, and that like it really could, but it could just relate back to like so deeper than it could just be personal. That's really what it is. It really could just be personal. And that's why someone takes it. But that's just also the system. That's just the world. Like, you know what I mean? Even if they go to, like, a school, mm -hmm. people just clown it on because they dark skin. Mm -hmm. TJ, you got anything you want to add on that? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I think it's, it could be seen as negative based. Like, off the first point, like, a lot of a lot of times when you have preference, you also kind of have your preference in a, in a disrespectful manner and sometimes, like, you know, um... You might prefer a light skinned women, but you might you might also put down black uh, darker skinned women when you when you you know express that you do prefer light skinned women. I just feel like a lot of the time preference can be seen as a negative because people don't know how to separate you know their their preference from putting down you know the 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 other you know what I mean putting down the other skin tone I guess you know what I mean like. I feel like when 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 you have a preference, you just got to, like I say, you just got to keep it respectful. You know what I mean? Like, just because you prefer something, don't mean you got to put down. You know, it's it's op the the counterpart of it, or, or, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, I just think that a lot of the times your preference can come off as a negative thing, and that's why it's taken negatively. Yeah, I've 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 really experienced I've really experienced that, but you know, like. I don't really, I don't really, I don't really speak or I don't really like out for say what my preference is because just the way things are, even though I don't, I don't go out here, you know, disrespecting other skin tones by any means. I don't do that at all, and I don't condone anybody that does that kind of behavior. But um, yeah, I just, you know, I feel sometimes, sometimes the way things are, like Nick said, depending on where you came from, your background has a huge impact on your thoughts. Even though you try to be, even though you are being 100% respectful about the situation. I feel like your background impacts it, you know, like you said, with the rays, you know, the things you're doing. Why do you say, like, why you say it with love and respect? Like, no one's gonna take it wrong. Like, you talk to you truth for There's no hate when you say it, you feel me? There's no, like, spite in your voice. You say it. You say it. You, you, say it. you just gotta say it, like, no hate. I feel like that's a simple thing to do, but then people throw a little bit of hate. People just don't know how to like express their preference without putting down other people. Like somebody will be here and be like, "Yeah, I don't like her because you know she dark skin or she don't got good hair." Da 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 da. It's like you can you could literally say, I, I prefer I prefer what I prefer, but I never you know want to discriminate. I think that all all women, all men are beautiful, but I prefer this. You don't gotta say like, why, like you you don't gotta point out why you don't like a certain group of people. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you yeah. can be respectful with it. 
And it's like a lot of people don't understand respectful language and you know they, they don't they don't think that way. So unfortunately that that plays a huge part in colorism as well. Just just the fact that, you know, pe- people people don't know how to be respectful and, and don't know how to, you know, just, just look at things differently, you know what I mean? So that that's really just my take on it. Yeah, well, y'all guys heard it first. Um, kind of all we really got for y'all today on colorism. I do plan on doing another episode later down the road on what I deem shadism, you know. Even though colorism is already uh, things, you know, you know, being being discriminatory within, within your own race, I plan on doing a shaded episode as well so we can like, actually, like, Speak on not just the larger scale things, speak on the smaller scale things, like as, you know, like what Nick said, bring up a good point about where you're from, things like that, or like your certain dress style, or, you know, a lot of things that impact this has a, that impact the larger scale type of colorism. I plan on hitting on that as well, so definitely I'll stay tuned for that. Um, that's that's kind of really all I got for y'all guys. Uh, join us for our next episode. Uh, it's gonna be called Musical Beginners Part Three uh, with our, our third artist Jordan. So stay tuned for that. We definitely definitely gonna talk about talk with Jordan about what it's like to be an artist. You know, same kind of questions you asked in the first two parts as well. Um, but that's really all I got for y'all today. Uh, PJ, Nick, y'all got anything y'all want to tell people before we call this part of the show? Yeah, I appreciate you for coming on, Nick. Hey, appreciate you too, PJ. Hey, you are. Appreciate you seeing y'all, yo. How y'all been, Loki? Chilling, man. Trying yeah, try to try, make it, man. Trying to survive this pandemic. <laughs> That's, oh, all <laughs> That's all we can do. Hopefully, ho- ho- hopefully next year, you know, it'll be a lot better and we not, we not wearing masks all day, every day. Life will hopefully be normal. Hopefully. Hey, bro, we gotta look past them. This is, it's gonna, gonna be. I feel like I feel like this year gonna be an interesting year, though. Definitely, it's gonna be an interesting year. Got a lot of things. Got a lot of things on the horizon. Got a lot of things that's gonna come. You know, not for just not for just for ourselves, but you know, the bigger things. Like I said, with the pot. Uh, that's kind of it. But that's all. That's all I got for y'all guys. This is our sign off. Peace as always. Once again, huge thanks for Nick joining us. And uh, see you all soon. All right, What's Josh. up, everybody? That concludes today's episode. Join us next time as we, when we release another one. As always, we continue releasing our episodes Friday at 12 on a bi-weekly basis. Give us a follow on our pages, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. All the ad names are right there on the screen. As always, this is your host, Ira, signing off. And see you all soon.